on May 2nd, get ready to escape. ISIS escaped from Transylvania. The goddess next door and John Haynes must escape a horde of vampires on the hunt in this horror-filled ISIS series adventure. Get ISIS Escape from Transylvania in paperback and e on May 2nd. You often hear many black people who work in corporate America or who work for businesses talk about the H Nice. And the H Nice stands for the head Negro in charge. Now the head Negro in charge is not an actual position at any business. It is a social position imagined by many of the black people who work there and some of the racist whites and non-blacks there. And the head Negro in charge is a social position designed to denote an African American who is considered socially acceptable to whites, non-blacks, and someone who black people should see as some sort of authority figure because of their high social position. Now this H. Nice position, again, is not an actual position, but it is a social title denoted to a certain African American who works at that company. And when it comes down to the H. Nice, the H. Nice is designed to be the gatekeeper for all of the racists and white supremacists at a company, and is designed to be the person who keeps these other blacks in their place because the age nice is supposed to let all the other blacks in the company know how to behave, how to act, and how to treat all of the good white folks at the company. That is the role of the age nice. The age nice is supposed to make sure that all these Negroes who work at this company know their place and know that they are the one on top who will put them in their place if they decide to get out of line. And that's what the H. Nice usually does in most corporations. Now, when it comes down to the H. Nice, again, this is a social position. And the H. Nice could be the black female receptionist, or it could be the one of the executives in the company. It doesn't matter what position they have in the company, all that matters is, is that this person has the attention and approval of the whites and the non-blacks and is seen as someone they regard in high regard. That's what the H. Nice is. And in many cases, your H. Nice, again, could be an executive at a company with an Ivy League education, or it could be somebody as low as a janitor who does a lot of the cleaning. Now when it comes down to your H. Nices, your H. Nices are usually the workplace mammy or the workplace coon. Because the only people who believe in this social hierarchy the most are your workplace mammies who want to be in with the white men in the company and your workplace coons who buck dance and bojangle for the approval of any white person. Because those two people they really live for white validation, white attention, and white approval. So they are always trying to jockey for the position of the H. Nice. And once they get the position of the H. Nice, they are an unholy terror to deal with. Because when you have one of these mammies or these coons talking about they are the H. Nice, that's when they want to play gatekeeper to all the black employees. And I go a little bit in depth in that in my novel, The Legendary Mad Matilda, where Matilda has to deal with one of these aspiring H. Nice negresses. And in the end of the second act, she's getting ready to, she's getting ready to go home from work and she goes into the bathroom and she's confronted by one of these black women who has her hair in braids and she's got on this suit and she decides to call Matilda out for being biracial. And the reason why she's calling her out for being biracial is not because she wants to pass, so-called pass for white, but it was all about her being jockeying for that position of the H. Nice. Now, the, this is when Matilda first got her job at Amalgamated Consolidated, but I wanted to show in that scene how black people jockey for that position and how they fear someone who is biracial being on a job because they fear if this biracial person is there, they will automatically get the social title of the H. Nice at the company, and then 
they will have that type of power. And what she wanted to do was eliminate the Matilda character and get her to quit her job so that she could be the age now being on a job because they fear if this biracial person is there, they will automatically get the social title of the age nice at the company and then they will have that type of power. And what she wanted to do was eliminate the Matilda character and get her to quit her job so that she could be the age nice in that office and that department. And that's what a lot of black people want to do when they see other black people on the job. When they see another black man on the job or another black woman on the job, they often want to try to eliminate that black person from the business circle because they want to be the age nice in front of white people and non-black people, and they want to be the center of attention in front of non-black people and white people. And this is something I experienced myself when I was working at Strive and City College of New York. And at City College, I had this pro-black, back-to-Africa female working with me who was supposed to be a so-called Christian, but all of that went out the window when it came time for her to get attention from these white people and the Jewish boss who ran the library. All of a sudden, she started turning into a mammy and started buck dancing and bojangling. And that's par for the course with many of these negresses out here when they're getting attention from the God that they deify. Because when it comes down to these females, they want to be the apple of their eye, the center of their, of their attention. And they will try to make efforts to try to eliminate anyone who is in the social circle, who is black on the same level, because they want to be in the imagined H. Nice position. And that's why I believe that pro-black female went along with that Jewish librarian in saying that I was sleeping at the desk when I wasn't, because she wanted to get towards that H. Nice position. She wanted to be the head negress in charge, she wanted to be the gatekeeper, and she wanted to be the one in complete control over everything, and that's something many of these black women and these black men out here, these coons, want to be. If they see a black man who is professional and polished and working towards doing something, they're going to try to make efforts to try to eliminate that person from the business social for social reasons so they can be the big wheel among all the white people. And this was something I also saw at Strive back in 2000. And when I was working at Strive, it was just pr primarily a black company, but towards the end, all the turnover, they started bringing white people in. And all of a sudden, I started seeing black people and Hispanic people who were once showing pride for themselves start buck dancing and bojangling and then jockeying for the position of the age nice with lower level white people. Now you have a black CEO and a black vice president, yet you have white people who are coming into the company in lower positions like directors of social services and other positions. And then we see, I saw black people and Hispanic people buck dancing and bojangling for those white people. And that was one of the most troubling things for me to see because here you are a black person with a higher position than this person. And here you are buck dancing and bojangling. Again, this whole age nice thing has nothing to do with title. It has nothing to do with position. It is all a mental condition that many African Americans have regarding racist and white supremacist social hierarchies. And when it comes down to black folks, they will sit there and they will see a white person and then automatically start submitting and deferring to them in most cases. Now, there are some black people like myself who will not submit and defer to white people, who will not buck dance and bojangle. And that's the person that makes many of these Negroes very uncomfortable because they are not going along with the social program that has been around for many years. Because we are not spellbound, we don't see the white person as better, nor do we see the white man's eyes as colder. And we're, because we're not trying to fit into the black box, that's what makes it uncomfortable for many of these Afro-Americans who are out here who want to be the age nice. Because they can't be the age nice if you are not going along with the programming and you're not jockeying for that imagined social position of power. As long as you are somebody like that, that's when you were considered a threat to these mammies, a threat to these coons, and all of these individuals 
who want the attention and approval of white people. And that was something, again, I went in depth in Legendary Mad Matilda because I wanted people to understand how destructive this behavior is and how it shows how little self-esteem many African Americans have regarding themselves and their self-image when they're on the job. Because when it comes down to African Americans, they'll sit there and say they have all this education, they have all this good job, but they don't have one thing that's important, that is a sense of value of self, a sense of worth for self, because it is you that has the value that makes you an asset to a company, not your skin tone, and you jockeying for the position of the H. Nice doesn't do anything for you at the end of the day, because you being the H. Nice doesn't matter to anyone, because when it comes down to these corporations, at the end of the day, to these racists that you're jockeying for a position for, you're just another Negro, and if they want to put a white person in your position, those racists will go out of their way to get rid of you just to, just to have, let that white person have a job. And it doesn't matter how much buck dancing and bojangling you do, at the end of the day, they could care less about you, and that's why you shouldn't be jockeying for the position of the age nice, because at the end of the day, you're letting everybody know that you're a nigger and that you are not in charge of yourself. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to learn a bit more about this H. Nice situation, you can pick up the legendary Mad Matilda on Amazon.com by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.